Hey, what's up everyone? This is Sam with Rococo and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to retarget mocap using the Rococo Blender plugin. Our plugin is completely free and it allows you to easily and correctly retarget mocap onto your characters. We think this is the absolute best workflow for working with mocap really in any capacity in Blender and so we're really excited to show you how easy it is. Okay, let's get straight to it. Okay, here we have an empty project, and first thing I'll do is import my character. I rigged this character using Mixamo. Make sure that automatic bone orientation is selected when you import. Now that I have my character, the next thing I'll do is import my mocap. This is an animation I downloaded from the Rococo Motion Library, but this same workflow will work for animations that you might have gotten from Mixamo, that you might have recorded yourself, really any FBX or BVH animation that you need retargeted onto a character. Okay, make sure that animation is checked and also automatic bone orientation. Now that we have both our animation and our character, how do we transfer this animation to our character? And more importantly, how do we do it in a way that doesn't mangle the animation? With the plugin, it's super easy. We will navigate to our plugin, sign in, then we'll open up our retargeting panel. I'll put my animation into the source slot and our character into the target slot. And then I'll hit build bone list and our plugin should automatically match the animation and the character's bones. If the bone list isn't generated automatically, you can manually enter the corresponding bones and then hit save. That way the bone list will generate automatically the next time you work with these models. I'll leave auto scale on to scale my animation to match my character scale, and then I'll hit retarget. And that's it, it's super easy, and it should be pretty much automated for most animations and most characters. Retargeting also actually copies the animation onto your character's bones, so you can delete this original animation, and now we have a standalone, fully animated character. Now I can export this animated character out to Unreal, Unity, Cinema 4D, Maya, Houdini, or any other 3D program by going to Export FBX. And if I'm working primarily in Blender, then I can just get to work and duplicate this character, do really whatever I want with it. It is now fully animated and uh, packaged up nice and neat so you can use it in your scenes for whatever you're planning on doing. I am so excited about this plugin because it means that there is now a free retargeting solution that is easy and reliable for your characters. In addition to retargeting just by installing our plugin, animated FBXs will load faster into Blender, which is in and of itself a reason to install the plugin. I want to show you a workaround for when your character has a rest pose that is different from a T pose. So commonly, this, this is an A pose. To check what your character's rest pose is, you can select your mesh and then hit 1 to enter edit mode. It can also be found up here. This character, which I rigged in Mixamo, had a rest pose like this. It was in an A pose when I rigged it. So when you have characters whose rest pose is different from a T pose, when you retarget, you can get results like this. So to compensate for this, before retargeting, you should select your animation skeleton, then get into pose mode, and then move the bones to match the rest pose of your character. So in this case, our character had more of an A pose, so I will adjust the bones accordingly. Then directly after I adjust the bones, I will click retarget and now, everything is working perfectly and smoothly, and so you can kind of fine tune this more if you need to. 
Thank you guys so much for tuning in for this tutorial. We hope it was helpful. As always, leave any questions in the comments below or reach out directly to us at support at rococo.com. We have more Blender tutorials coming soon, especially for full performance capture, so stay tuned for those and have fun creating awesome mocap out there. Thanks everyone, bye bye.